Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. Today we're looking at Grendel, Devil by the Deed by Matt Wagner. One of my favorite books of all time. Can't wait to show it to you. So make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit like. I'm gonna cue the intro and I'll be right back. It's Troy TV. Comic book art critiques. It's the art pizza, got sarcastic ways. Leftwoods and the geeky gays. It is comics for the day. Okay, so this is Grendel, Devil by the Deed. This is a trade paperback. I used to have the hardcover. This was initially a backup feature in Matt Wagner's Mage comic book, and then it came out in a graphic novel, and it is gorgeous. If Grendel was just announced uh, as being picked up by Netflix, so it's gonna be super hot. You guys need to start reading it and get on board. I absolutely adore Matt Wagner. I think he's an amazing creator. I love this book. Introduction by Alan Moore. Published by Kamiko, the comic book company. One of my like first discovered independent comic book companies outside of Marvel and DC from the 80s. Uh, I think they were around for like only five years, but they produced so many great books that I just absolutely love so much. And Grendel being the least of which. I think Grendel's published by Dark Horse now. I love the design. I love the aesthetic. This book um, is very like art deco um, and the color palette is like off the chain. It's just so unique and so gorgeous. Um, Grendel is, was first uh, embodied by Hunter Rose, but um, several people have taken over the mantle of Grendel. I feel like, and I could be wrong, but I feel like the Panda Brothers did this logo. Um, there's like two Grendel logos and the other one is like Matt Wagner's from like the Comico Primer, Kamiko Primer, which um, are very expensive and hard to find. And like the first introduction to Grendel, the art is like very rudimentary and it's very underground and like homemade and still totally cool. So Matt Wagner wrote um, penciled and colored this book, inks by Rich Rankin. I love Rick, Rich Rankin's inks. Um, he would go on to ink Bill Willingham and then Elementals, another one of my favorite Kamiko books that I'm actually going to cover after this. And um, I just love this book. It's beautiful. It's so basically, it's supposed to be like a novel written by Christine Spar, who would be the second Grendel, and also Hunter Rose's step granddaughter or something weird like that his his adopted child Stacy Palumbo her daughter would grow up to become a journalist write about her step grandfather Grendel and eventually take over the role I love oh see here's the original Grendel logo there very cool and chic unto itself there's a lot of great design work here and just so many like collage like these little boxes and just fun stuff and I love it and I think Matt colored these with airbrush it looks pretty airbrushed and he just had like such a beautiful palette with these pinks and purples and like yellows and blues and just very cool Argent um Grendel's like arch enemy um you know Grendel and Argent obviously come from Beowulf and uh, Matt sort of developed it. It's funny, this taxi cab here reminds me of pretty much how the art looked in Mage. And, um, it's funny, like I said, this was serialized from the, uh, the back pages of Mage. And so it's kind of fun to see this. You'll see his signature pop up every few pages or so. I don't know, I just love this work. It's just sort of like the subtlety. Like like I said, like in the primer, his uh, style was pretty rudimentary. I think it definitely benefited him to start working with uh, an inker. And he definitely just sort of found this great style that really worked so well. And it's funny because when the story series took over, he just opted out of drawing it himself and let um 
other artists do their versions. And that's sort of very fitting um, how Grendel has rolled in the past, what, 30, 40 years now. Um, just seeing different interpretations and different iterations of such a great character. Like, Grendel is more than just a character. It's like a force, like kind of a movement, kind of like an entity that overtakes you or it can overtake a society and just very cool. Stacy Palumbo, Hunter Rose's adopted child. There's just a lot of dark elements and just like, he's sort of like the anti-Batman in a way. And I did a video on the Batman Grendel crossover in there just, oh, Rich Rankin without Matt Wagner's signature. I'm wondering if he drew this page himself. Interesting to know. I, I was thinking about Rich Rankin and he did a lot of great inks for Kamiko. And then I sort of never really saw or heard much from him after that. And I just thought he's so talented. Like, it's a shame. Um, unless he did go on to work for like Marvel and DC and I just didn't know it. But Grendel is full of these great, and I love that they do it in like this sort of larger format too, because it's a great showcase for the art. Um, so many of this stuff is just great. Like, I love the design elements here. And like I said, it's got this great, like, art deco flair to it, which is just, like, super beautiful. Now this, um, I like when the artist, like, considers not just, like, the composition of what's happening within the page, but how the page is going to look, like, when you step back and all the design elements that are going on, sort of how it creates this almost symmetrical yet asymmetrical effect at the same time and Matt Wagner let's face it it's just a legend just amazing I love his writing it totally resonates with me um Devil's Legacy is actually the Christine Spar version of Grendel which is my favorite um largely in part because of the uh art of the Pander Brothers who have a pin up in here so stick around and we'll get to see that but, like, this is so cool here. So, basically, like, I don't know. I just love his choice here to do this. Like, you know, uh, it could have been, like, a Frank Miller thing where there's, like, six panels on each page and, like, a very, uh, you know, panel-to-panel -panel choreography. But you sort of got this great double-page spread of them initially going at it and then their fight taking place over the course of these balloons and these silhouettes. I just think... It's pretty freaking amazing. Very cool. No other book has ever been colored like this, I don't feel. It's just really pretty innovative and groundbreaking. It's funny because, you know, this is pretty high tech for coloring at the time in the 80s for comic books. So I kind of love this effect of him, you know, falling against the wall with the blood smearing. And, um, you know, it's not like outlined with a black line. Just very cool. The end. Um, gorgeous artwork. Such a great story. Hunter Rose, my second favorite Grendel after Christine Spar. About the author, author, Christine Powell Spar lives in Manhattan with her son, Anson. She is currently a staff reporter for the New York Times and is considered to be one of the world's foremost experts on Grendel and his history. Mrs. Spar is the widow of war correspondent Peter Spar. And here we go. Steve Bissett, Steve Rude, John Totalden, Arnold Pander, and Jay Gelda. Very cool. What a great shot by Steve Rude. I love that. That's so 80s that he has the black and white checkerboard. And also it's kind of like a, a nod to the Kamiko, like checkerboard that they had at the top of all their books. So that's cool. I love Steve the Dude Rude. Space Ghost, anyone? Very cool. So who's, is Matt Wagner coloring all these? It kind of looks like it. Yeah, I think he must have. Beautiful. Arnold Pander without Jacob, his brother, the Pander Brothers. But it's beautiful. I mean, I totally fell in love with the Panda Brothers, who were kind of doing a Patrick Nagel thing at the time. 
And I'm a huge Patrick Miguel fan as well, so it was like a no-brainer for me. And that's that. Grendel continues monthly from Comico, the comic book company. Oh, it's kind of coming undone, the binding here. Better never open this again. Just kidding. Comic books are meant to be read, and you should definitely read this one if you haven't. I mean, what a beautiful book, right, guys? Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, hit like, share my content, and I'll bring you some more later. All right. Thanks, guys.